Harris Bus, located in Manor Road, Grays. Harris Bus entered London contract operations in 1997 when it awarded Score Route 661 starting the 17th of March. It was operated with their recently delivered Olympians used on the commercial Thurrock Link routes serving Lakeside. The 108 followed on the 19th of April using 11 Optair XLs all carrying the lime green and blue Thurrock Link livery which had appeared on the commercial routes in 1996. But with Lewisham Link branding instead, the allocation was split between Greys and a new outstation within the Acorn Industrial Estate, Crayford. This followed by the 128, 129 and 150 starting the 19th of July. The allocation was 28 Volvo Olympians of East Lanks Pioneer Bodywork, a mix of dual door and front entry exits. They carried the lime green and blue livery with Ilford Link branding. And all buses available on the first day at Lanterns Road Bodywork were hired from Ipswich Buses as cover. The remaining buses arrived after the 1st of August, so were re-registered with uh, R registrations. In 1998, the 132 was taken over from the 24th of January, adding a further eight Optair XLs with Eltham Link branding and operated from Crayford. The 180 followed from the 14th of February. This operated from a new site at Burt's Wharf Crabtree Manor Way, Belvedere, along with 13 dual doored Volvo Olympians with Lewisham Link branding. The 108 and 132 moved here from the 21st of February and Crayford was closed, and I assume the 661 moved from Grays. In 1999, the 108 was increased in frequency from the 1st of May. The four Opto XLs, which Harris Bus already had for their thorough routes, were switched over to the 108 allocation. Harris Bus went into administrative receivership on the 15th of December. Frank Harris Coach has been a separate business carried on as before. In 2000, the operation of the 150 was taken over by Blue Triangle, using a single-doored Harris Bus Olympians with Blue Triangle drivers from the 9th of March on a temporary basis. From the 25th of March, London buses took over the Harris Bus operated LRT routes 108, 128, 129, 132, 150, 180 and 661. The buses to operate them and Belvedere Garage were not grazed via a new operation called East Thames Buses. Ashgrove reopened and the 128 and 129 transferred from Greys, along with part of the 108 from Belvedere. East Thames buses took over the 150 from the 15th of April. It was operated from Ashgrove and the sources there slots newsletters. And all this will be added in the description below the video. Now we go to Flickr. This is the photo stream of Steve Hodgson, John Souter and Mark McCann. And these two photos will be linked below. And this is the Gray's Depot. And if you go to Google and go click on Manor Road and then go around, we've got this image. If you go into time travel mode, we've got the building before it was uh, reclad. And this matches the building in the background. And then obviously you've got the power lines here, which match the power lines behind the, the fleet line. Now, this is where the Harris bus livery came from because the contracts from the local authority were only one year contracts. And these buses came from West Midlands Travel. They had been London Transport fleet lines. They were sold to West Midlands in not 1979 as part of a large batch to replace their jumbos. West Midlands withdrew them in the mid-1980s. and They came via Ensign, Ensign bus. And uh, because there's no point repainting the buses for a one-year contract. So effectively, this is where the first Harris bus livery came from. They're basically West Midlands travel uh, blue and cream. But um, all this will be added in the description below the video and Belvedere will be its own uh, separate video.